All right, picking up again. So I have my offset surfaces. Now I need to provide some geometry around these edges uh, to loft around. So to do that, uh, I'm going to start a, a 3D sketch. And right here, I just need some lines across these corners. Uh, so you get my line tool and from that to that, double click and I'm done. And then down here from there to there, double click and I'm all done. Um, then I'm going to add my cell, add some splines, say you know, around here, because this is fairly flat, so I'm just going to let it stay fairly flat across there. So maybe one right up here, maybe one right here in the middle, uh, and then I'm hoping to just get away with another one uh, down there. So let's try uh, right in here, and I'm just going to get where I can kind of look across these things, um, bring up my spline tool, make sure I'm coincident there, coincident there. And yep, coincident, coincident. That's good. Um, let's see, let's go. Let's try right there. And that one's good. And then one more, say, right here. like it could use a little straightening before I start bending it. Just making sure they're roughly perpendicular to the surface there. You don't have to be exact. Alright, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, so I'm going to get kind of side on to these things. Uh, let's move one of them up just a bit and then I'm hoping I can now just pick that one, pick the surface, make it, oop, do not make it tangent. Let's try the other side. Yep, all right, that, that got it. And then this one I can just kind of move up uh, and making sure I can, hmm, what seems to be your major malfunction. Let's break you. Just need to make sure it's up enough. It's got enough curvature in it already that I can add that tangency. Oh my goodness. Didn't look you, did it? Sometimes if these things just start misbehaving, just clobber them. And let's see, let's figure out, make sure I'm in a good spot. Yeah. Add a new one in. It may also have to do with the plane that they were drawn in. Um, in fact, let's try um, seeing what I'm in here. Uh, ah, yeah, let's try tabbing that so I'm a little more aligned with it. And now let's try. Getting these guys rounded a little bit. Just take a look at them from this side. Make sure there's not too much twist to them. There's going to be a little just because they're 3D splines, but you could minimize that by you know, slightly aligning things and then oh, sorry, I did not mean to exit that. I was just trying to rebuild so some of that duplication would go away. All right, let's try this now. So I'll pick the spline, pick that surface, make tangent. All right, that looks good. Let's pick the spline, pick that surface, make tangent. Yeah, I doesn't like that one. You may only get one. Uh, so just hit Control Z if you get that, and then it's just going to be a matter of kind of eyeballing it to get that tangency. Get it pretty close. You might be able to come around to one of the ends and sketch down you know, just sketch a line that, um, in fact, let me try that and get my line tool and um, just kind of draw. Out in 
some space. Let's see. Actually, let's delete that uh, relationship. Let's see if I can make that one. Yeah, let's put that one on the surface. And then that might let me do a little bit of tangency here. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. And let's see, let's make sure that that's a construction line. Kind of a cheap trick, but whatever works. Let's see, now this one, I don't know what plane it's in, but I can give it a go, and then if it fails, then just redo it. So you just kind of look at it from the side. Get a little bit of tangency there, or get it you know, kind of pulled out to the length that I want. And then, let's see. Yeah, that's all looking pretty good. Um, make that surface, make the spline, make tangent. Hooray, that worked. And then, pick the spline and make tangent. Yep, didn't like that, so we're going to have to do that trick again. Get the line tool. Just draw it down. And then pick that point in the surface and make it on surface. Make it a construction line and then pick it and the spline and make those tangent. Let's see, this one's a little out of whack. Actually, let's look at it from the side. thing really just goes all over the place, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. That's looking good. Yeah, that's fine. And then this last one down here. Looking okay. Let's pick the surface, pick the spline. It yep, doesn't like that one. Let's see if it'll work with this one. Sometimes it works with one and not the other. Yeah, I didn't really. No, actually, yeah. That's all green. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, let's again do our line on a. Get my line tool. Draw it down what looks like, yeah, roughly perpendicular and put it on that surface, make it a construction line, and then pick it and the spline and make tangent. I mean, it's not it's not truly tangent to that thing, but and you can somewhat adjust it by moving that around. <laughs> Although that might get it woo -wee, way out of whack. Here, let's get that straightened out a little bit. All right, so that all looks pretty good. I've got tangency, 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 and then coincident and coincident. So say OK. And let's see, I've got about six minutes. Let's see if we can do my loft in, in that amount of time. So, uh, first of all, let me save this thing. And then let's go to Surfaces, Lofted Surface, right click, get my Selection Manager, make sure it's pinned. Uh, my groups here, I'm going to pick that spline, say OK. Um, this next one, and say OK. What I want to do is start adding in my guide curves too, because otherwise this thing will try to do some some weirdness. So I'm going to switch down here to guide curves, make sure again I'm still in group, and pick this line and see when the little tangency thing pops up there. Pick that one so I get the other part of it and say OK. And Or you could just pick this seg segment down here. You know, pick that one and, and before you say OK, pick the other one and then say OK. And so that's that's added those in. Yeah, and so now you know this thing is looking pretty good. I can come back here still with my selection manager open and pick uh, this spline and say okay, yeah, my preview is coming around pretty good. Let's pick this last one. 
and say okay still looking good or the last arced one and then this straight one and that's good and everything yeah that all looks pretty good so I can confirm that and you see now I have a um, you know this all going around let me rebuild this this thing's acting I don't know what those little points are popping in there for but that's kind of annoying let me see if saving that will help So, yeah, this, this surface is looking good. Um, what I can do next is make a mirror of it. So to do that, and this thing is symmetrical around that uh, right plane. So I'm going to pick my right plane, go to my Features tab, Mirror. It's asking for, um, let's switch the bodies to Mirror. And let's pick these three surface bodies. I could knit these but um, I think it's better to go ahead and make the mirror and then knit, knit it all together. And you see this is why I wanted to make this spline on that right plane so that this stuff could mirror about that right plane. Uh, so once I've uh, done that um, I could probably tell it to knit, see if it'll knit everything. If not I'll come back and knit it all uh, together and then say OK. And let's see, no, it looks like I still got a bunch of uh, surface bodies uh, in there. So let's adjust that mirror. Don't need to knit. Say OK. And now I can, I can just knit everything that's visible. Let's control select them all so that they're together. And then uh, under surfaces, knit surface try to form solid, merge entities, make sure my gap control's on, say OK. Yeah, and so now this is all knitted together. It's all, you know, it's, I've got black lines all around. So it's a solid body. Uh, so I'm going to save this and, um, and then pick it up and show you how to make uh, some extra pieces uh, for this in the next video.